fifth hole of the day for me, 14th on the scorecard, 603 yard par five. It is massive. So really impossible to reach from any of these regardless of how far you hit it because of this huge valley right here. So you just want to get something you feel comfortable with getting in the fairway, getting in play so you can hit your layup and get yourself to a good number so you can try and go at this pin. For me, I need to hit three good shots into this screen in order to try and get could look at birdie. So for me at least, birdie attempts, post birdie attempts, aren't really that common. About it is there's not really a good place to miss because the miss is short middle. You go too far left and you're gonna be in the trees and the really thick stuff trying to get up and down out of there. If you go too far right then you're gonna be chipping down this pretty big slope. You'll probably run off the green to the left and still be left with a chip to try and get you far. It's not good. <laughs> so good news is, I found it right there. Bad news is, the flag is somewhere up through there. Oh, it happens. Again, not in a great situation. Third. Oh man. All right. Officially on the struggle bus this hole. There. Let's see if we can get a pot. Jeez Louise. five here really a scorable hole looking to get birdie or maybe even an eagle every time i play a couple different ways to go at it you can try a control shot and go short left in the fairway and then try and cut the corner over these trees or through the little gap in the trees or you can try and smash a driver over that bunker and have a wedge or a short iron in but be out of the rough second shot's going to play downhill and then once you're on the green relatively speaking to the greens on this course there's nothing really to it it's a uh, Pretty easy green, but if you lose focus, you can still mess it up. A little upset from the last hole, so we're going with driver here. See if we can't knock one out there past that bunker. Uh, 
uh, done it before. I don't know how far it is to fly, but we'll see if we can do it. I thought it was going to be over, no problem. Just barely over. Oh well, we're sitting pretty now. Chance to go at this flag. And two. So let's go ahead and see if we can't, uh, can't get a birdie. Man, y'all got to be able to tell I'm out of breath. Oh, I like it. I do. We're gonna go find out. It may have gone too far, but I like it. <laughs> All right, so I was right. Went just a little bit long, but you know what? I'm still pumped about this shot. Let's say uh, we can't put one up here close and get a look at birdie. that by a mile. Jeez. Blow an opportunity. Not a long par four here, looking at 385 yards. So I will pretty much always take an iron off this tee. I got some deer hanging out there in the fairway. A couple different ways to go at it. You can play short right and have to contend with these two trees in the middle of this valley. Or you can go a little bit longer left, have a shorter club in, and be around the trees. Definitely want to miss short right of the green if you're going to miss. Left is death, and long is also death. So I'm getting real low. Just trying to hit something out there that we can see. Not doing anything fancy here. Fading around that tree in the middle. Oh, I like it. That's good. Okay, I just stepped it off. And I am sitting at 170 to the middle of the green, 183 to the back of the green. Oh. Did go a little bit further right than I was hoping. But what are you going to do? So here, just a little bit right of the green. Not sure exactly how I want to play this just yet. There's probably about 10 feet maybe for that shot to roll onto the green. That's tough. Absolutely gorgeous finishing hole here. Play it safe, be short of that bunker with a wood or a long iron, or you can try and be aggressive, go with the driver and try and cut off as much of that corner as you can. You can have a lob wedge, a short lob wedge into the green. The green has a pretty severe slope from left to right, and if you land anything on the left side of the green, it's gonna roll all the way down to the bottom. Uh, so don't want to miss too far left because if you get stuck up there, your next shot is basically impossible. 18th hole, as you can see, it's getting super dark out. It's hard to even see the ball as I'm standing over it. So I'm just going to try and get something out there towards that 150 stake, short of the bumper. I 
I literally have no idea. I heard it hit someone. But I have no idea where that ball went. I lost it immediately. I got my drone up there ready to go and uh, and zoom in in case something you can see something, but it's super hard to see. It's super hard to see. I heard it hit. Check the drone. Close. I mean, you can't see anything. That drone is right above the green, and you can't see a darn thing. I don't know if you can see that screen right there. That thing's pitch black. Oh well. So it's a shame that my drone couldn't get that shot. That actually wasn't half bad. But I don't know if you can see this. I got about 15 feet left for the birdie to finish out the day. So I realized has a light on the bottom of it. So I figured, why not light up the, the hole? You see, we can't roll this bad boy in with birdie on the last hole and actually be able to see it go in the hole. Okay, so finished with the round, and uh, it is pitch black out. Like, I have not finished a round of golf with it being this dark, and Lord knows how long, honestly. Like, right now, I'm just using the light from my phone, and honestly, who knows how this is gonna turn out. I mean, I guess you do, because you're watching this. But all we can see out here is a couple stars, the moon. It's gorgeous out, it's a little bit chilly. Uh, yeah, gonna go back inside. Yeah.